What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Too Far Out TV YouTube channel. My name is Asteroid Austin, and I just got some guidance that I should make this video on how to tell if you're being manipulated and how to stop the manipulation from happening. So, we're just gonna get right into it, man. I don't have a script or anything like that. I'm just gonna just go off on a whim, man. But basically, to understand if you're being manipulated, first you have to understand this all goes back to like understanding what your goals are and recognizing your internal centralized energy. How do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? Who are you? What's your personality like? What kind of energy do you give off? What kind of things do you enjoy doing? What kind of things make you you? And what kind of goals are you going after, right? And when you have these things established, like for me personally, like I I know I like a certain kind of music, right? I know that I wear, I would like to wear certain kinds of clothings. I like certain colors. I like, I like my energy to be in a certain vibe. But like once you can kind of like get grounded in your own energy and know who you are and know what you don't like and you can start to form yourself clear cut boundaries, this is going to be the the groundwork of understanding who you are and how you can tell if you're being swayed away from the things that you enjoy doing or if you're being a sw swayed away from the things that you're going after in life basically like if i'm creating youtube videos every day right and um there's some kind of external force that wants to keep me from making my videos i know that like I'm not gonna partake in that. I'm gonna just stay doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna stay in my uh, my my habit. You know, humans are a creature of habit. But if I'm trying to build a new habit, or if I'm trying to stay grounded in a particular habit because it's creating results that I enjoy, then I'm gonna maintain that habit and keep doing it over and over, right? That's what a habit is, you do it over and over. <laughs> um, so now if there's some kind of external force that has its own agenda or they want to see something happen in life, right? Because we all have goals, we all have motivations, things that we're after in life. And um, and sometimes two, two goals don't necessarily coincide with each other. They don't, they can't coexist in a in a healthy way so to speak and and that's fine because everybody's allowed to have their own opinions and beliefs and and do what they do right but if someone's trying to come come bump me out of my space or trying to pull me into their space when i don't want to do that and i recognize that i need to establish these boundaries and say like like no thank you like i'm this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm at, this is how I wanna be, and like, I don't wanna go that way, and I don't wanna go this way. I wanna stay right here. Now, most most of the time, people are just like, oh yeah, like, you're good, bro, like, do what you do, man, you know? I keep getting this quote from Kevin Gates that's stuck in my head, it says, the world's too large to be letting somebody bump me. And it's just like, man, like, that's that's so good, like, if I'm firm in my boundaries, nobody's going to be able to sway me away from what I'm doing because I'm I'm in my field. I'm in my zone creating the way that I want to create. And that's perfectly fine, right? Because they also have that same capability to do so. We all have the same opportunities in life. So they can do what they're doing. I can do what I'm doing. We don't have to bump into each other. The world's big enough for everybody to get in where they can fit in, All right? So, most people will be like, yeah, like, that's cool, man. You do what you do. I'm doing what I'm doing. No big deal. If we can't mesh, let's just separate. Let's just give each other that space. Now, some people aren't going to appreciate that. Some people are more about force rather than staying in their own power, right? And so they might try to be like, oh, no, like, I don't like what you're doing. I'm gonna come try to push you over. I'm gonna try to come 
pull you into my zone because I need you. I think that you would be a good asset to what I'm working on. And even though it doesn't align with your values or morals, I, I'm going to try to manipulate you into doing what I think that you should do. And this is where manipulation comes in. You see, some people will try to persuade you with rewards. Some people will try to blackmail you or try to trigger you or or do different things to try to persuade you into acting in a certain way or doing a certain thing. And uh, if you don't have clear boundaries, if you don't have a clear sense of who you are or what you're working on, you might just fall into that trap. And we can't have that. I can't let the people I'm talking to fall into that trap. So it's very important for you to recognize who you are and what your energy is and what is the character that you're building and who who do you want to establish yourself in being through understanding these answering these questions you're going to find more about yourself and you're going to find more about what you do and don't like as you find more about what you do and don't like you're going to be able to set yourself apart from things that you don't like and and mesh yourself in things that you do like and that's a great thing because as you get more of what you do like and you get less of what you don't like it just creates more love for you man because it's less worry it's less stress it's just more positivity more joy in your life so recognize who you are and what you want out of life and try to keep your distance away from those people that are not having your best interests at hand and when people start to try to manipulate you with oh look what i got if you do what i want like you can have some of this too like don't feed into that it's good you 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 go ahead and keep that i got what i got and even if it don't look like a lot right now it's growing into a lot believe that trust me what i got is growing into a lot and it's going to be more and better than I can ever imagine as long as I stay true to myself and stay true to the things that I'm building and growing. What seeds are you watering? Don't worry about the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Stay water in your garden, stay water in your grass so that your grass can get magnificent. And then as your grass is magnificent, they're all gonna be like, damn, like, your grass is greener and you'd be like, I know, like I've been watering and I'm not worried about your shit. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Stay focused on what you're doing because you are empowering yourself by doing this. And by empowering yourself, you're showing other people that it can be done. You're empowering them too. Especially if you're doing something that's adding value to them. Like for me right now, my intention is to add value to the viewer. I'm adding value to you so that you can grow. And as I'm empowering myself and growing myself and I'm teaching you how to do it, I'm helping us both grow. And that's positivity. That's love right there. I don't need anybody else coming over here and trying to push me out of the way or trying to suck me into whatever they're doing because I'm already doing good. I feel great. And I'm doing great behaviors. I'm giving something that is priceless. I don't care about money coming back. If you wanted to tip me, that would be great. But it's not the point. The point is, is for me to grow and for me to show you how I did it. That's empowerment. That's real love. Stay in your lane. Don't let people bump you. Don't let people manipulate you. You can be stronger than that, I promise. I love you. I hope this video helped. If it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It might help somebody else. Subscribe to this channel for more empowering videos like this. Peace.